Hey guys, welcome to Elevate Aki. If you haven't done yet, hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss any video of mine. And welcome to another video of the playlist, how to develop a real-time automation BDD framework using Selenium with Java. Okay, so in this video, let's see how to design scenarios in the feature file using Cucumber. Also, I'll be explaining what tags are in Cucumber and its importance and the different keywords we have in Cucumber. To start off, as you know that Cucumber is the tool we use to design scenarios in the BDD framework. And the scenarios will be written in the file with the extension dot feature. So these are called the feature files. Now let's see how to design scenarios in this feature file. To answer that, Cucumber has provided us with the few keywords using which we can design the scenarios in the simple English language called Gherkins. And the most common used keywords out of all are given, when, and then. And in the feature file, the scenario always starts in this format. First, it will have the feature keyword where we'll be giving the description of the feature which we are going to test. And that is followed by scenario keyword. So in the scenario keyword, we'll be giving the description of the test name. And later we have the given keyword in which we'll be describing the context of what we are doing. So let's say uh, we have a login scenario and we want to enter the username and the password of the application and click on submit. So in this, what we have got is the URL of the application. So in the given keyword, we'll be giving the user navigates to the application. So we are saying that we got the URL of the application, which is the context we define in this given keyword. And in the when keyword, we'll always define whatever action we want to perform. So let's say in this login scenario, I want to enter the username and password of the application. So that can be added using this when keyword. And that is followed by then keyword. In the then keyword, we'll be defining the outcome we are going to expect. So in this login application, the outcome we are expecting is when we click on submit, it has to navigate to the login page. So that can be defined under this then keyword. So this is the basic skeleton, how we design a scenario in the feature file. And here you can see the screenshot of the scenario that was written in the feature file. So if you see the sample test scenario, here we have started with the feature keyword and that is followed by the scenario. And then we have used the given keyword and when keyword and then keyword to design the scenarios. Apart from the given when then keywords, Cucumber also provides us few other keywords. So let's see each of them in detail. First is the scenario outline. The scenario outline is basically used when you want to pass the test data in your feature file using the examples keywords. So when you, whenever you are using the examples keyword, you have to define your scenario using the scenario outline instead of defining it as scenario. And the next is background keyword. This keyword is used when you want to define the common steps across the feature. So let's say in the particular feature file, we have a login to the application has a common step. So that can be defined under this background keyword so that we need, we need not to write it in every scenario. And once we define under the background keyword, it will be called in every test scenario we write in this particular feature file. Later, we have got the end keyword. This keyword is mainly used when you want to combine two conditions. So that can be used when you are using given the condition and then and you want to add any other condition, then you will be using this end keyword before the test. So end keyword can be used to define that step. And the last one we have is this examples keyword. So as we discussed here while defining the scenario outline, so examples keyword is basically used to give all the test data to your feature file. So if we go to the previous slide and see now, you can say that. So first here we got is the feature. And now for this scenario, I want to give the test data in the feature file itself. So for that, what I'm going to do is use this examples keyword to define the test data I want to use in this feature file. And also, instead of using the scenario keyword, you need to use the scenario outline to give the description of that particular test scenario. So these are all the most used keywords in the Cucumber. Now let's see what are tags in Cucumber and why they are important. 
in cucumber tags are the user defined keywords which will be prefixed by at the rate of so tags always starts with at the rate of and the example you can say is at the rate of smoke test so here smoke test is the user defined variable and we are giving at the rate of to define that this is a tag which we want to define for that particular scenario so where we basically use this tags in cucumber is uh, let's say if i want to execute the smoke test scenarios so while designing the scenarios what i can do is if if i want that particular scenario to be executed under the smoke test i'll be adding the tag of smoke test now the question we get is why we have to use the tags and what is the advantage we get by using them so first advantage is that so you can organize all the scenarios and also the feature files using this tags and apart from that if you give a particular tag to that scenario it will execute all the scenarios which were defined under that tag it will allow you to execute the multiple scenarios and the same will be followed by the features as well and the other one has we already discussed it will allow us to group the scenarios so you can give this grouping like if you want to group a smoke test scenarios or a regression scenarios you can use that particular tag for the respective group and define those scenarios now you might get the doubt that uh, how many tags can i define for a particular scenario or a feature so there is actually no limit to define the tag so you can define as many tags as you want in cucumber for any particular scenario or a feature file so in this screenshot you can see clearly the way we have defined the tags for in a feature file so first we can define the tag either at the feature level if you define a tag above the feature so that will execute all the scenarios that were under this feature and the later one we have got is scenario level tags so under this scenario level tags we will be defining the tag at the scenario level so here chapter 1 validation is defined for this particular scenario and when you want to execute this particular scenario you can use this chapter 1 validation tag to run the scenario and apart from these two you can also define tags at the examples level so as discussed previously in we use the examples keyword to give the test data so you can pass the multiple test data sets as well and if you want to differentiate that multiple sets of test data you, you can use the tags at the examples level so that it will execute only the particular test data by this video i hope you are clear on how to design a scenario in the feature file and how to use this tags in cucumber and also the keywords which we have got to design a scenario in cucumber so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching the video hope you learned something new today please do like share and subscribe the channel see you in the next video